Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary um, Iron Man on War of the Chosen uh, playthrough Operation Lazy Days is upon us and we are going to ambush a troop column with around 21 enemies. Got our team here, the good old normal team plus two Psy operatives. So let's join the mission and see how well we are going to do. All right, we landed. I apologize in advance for any noises in the background. And uh, let's go. <clears throat> I got some high ground, that's a good start. And all we need to do is neutralize all targets. We could go through here or maybe take a balcony over there. Moving that wouldn't be too cool. bad. Let's just double check real quick. Hostiles making the round. Ooh. Oh wow, we're fighting against a lot of enemies, apparently. Good, no one as close as possible. Raggiungo la posizione. Hung stays here so that they don't know where he's at at the moment. There now. Same for Venom. That way we might be able to get a drop on them and flank them. But boy, that is a beefy pack. That's a beefy pack. Move to here. Decent non flankable half cover spot. Same up here, but I'm sort of hoping that they are taking cover here so that we can move over and flank them. Got an option here as well, or full cover here but then they have the chance of flanking us tell you what let's take an aggressive position just double checking nothing else here <coughs> typically i'm not the biggest fan of these sorts of engagements because i want to use the grenades for cover removal but with the first engagement you just cannot deny that it's a lot of damage one overwatch. And since Namri is going to be kind of the ma main tank here, this should not break concealment. Good, we're having a second overwatch. Fair enough. Now. This here should really hurt. <coughs> 9, 12, 16 points of damage. That's good. That's a good grenade. Unfortunately, not necessarily targeted damage in the sense that it's spread out very, very widely. Sanity has good chances, not so much on the Viper, but the Stun Lancer has fantastic insanity uh, chances. Well, so much for that. Hitting the Sidewinder. That's a 
solid kill. Setting up the stun lancer. And to be fair, he is the main target that needs to die. Move to here. And do shotgun to the face. Or move up to here and stun the sector. I think for now we're starting with the stunner. Takes one out as well. <coughs> and the trooper doesn't really do that much damage, plus he's not flanking anyone at the moment. This might be a mind spin. Yep. Nice try. Oh, well, apparently a good try. Apparently a very good try. Good look. We're moving up. Still got soul fire ready. That's a hundred percent kill. Gets us back our specialist. Panic done. And triggered. Well, how about that? I can handle that. We're staying up here. That might already be a kill. <coughs> Sorry. What? Andrew. Very good, the DM. The DM regulates. I like it. Look, we're, we're okay. First pack. And we got them nicely down. And I think I, someone is calling me. Give me a moment. Okay, back. So... Can we take the loot without being completely exposed like an idiot? The answer is likely no. On the other hand, I want the loot. On it. So Nemri is going to be our idiot here. I've got it. Just to make sure that that is not going to backfire. Okay, it's another pot. <clears throat> runs into us. That's a lot of temporary hit points, by the way. No problem, boss. Copy that. Need to reload with the DM. La via libera. Ricaricato. Overwatch. Overwatch. And let's reload whenever possible. Well, there we go. Alright, we're being flanked. I don't like that. And I will express my views quite clearly when it comes to flanking. 
Flanking is punishable by shotgun to the face. Uh, face. So that's what you get for flanking us. I think I need to do a little break in a second yet again. But not before we are taking out the ones in full cover. Nice little guardian down. Lovely. What's over there? Eighty sixty. Okay, well. not a massive surprise that the advanced advent is harder to control let's remove his cover running low on grenades I don't like that Definitely, yeah, see the trooper and kill him. Very nice. And there's a good chance that we just soul bolt him into oblivion. Very good. Problems solved. We've used a bit of our. No, by the way, there is another pack here. I saw a mutant shining through the wall earlier. Um, we do, used a lot of our um, cooldowns, so I would want to be careful not to overdo it. I wonder though if this here could be an option for us. It's killing time. I mean, when else are we going to use a smoke grenade and you know if it's not happening then it's not happening which is totally fine by me I hope it's worth it Now we don't have run and gun. We need to stay relatively speaking at the front. Affirmative covering now. Overwatch. Stand by. Yeah. On Overwatch. Let's wait for run and gun to pop back up. Ready to rock. Got it. Come get some. Hey Zegro. I'm on it. On Overwatch. There's something out there. And there's another pack. Apparently to our right. Okay, so much for the smoke. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Got movement here. Okay, back. Little interruption as always. Um, we have got a problem. There's a pack somewhere here, at least that's what uh, the movement indicated. So let's change sides. Whatever you say. Okay. Let's, let's change sides and make sure that we're being okay. I 
can handle that. That way, we're fo fighting in this direction, and we know there is kind of a mutant pack somewhat around here, which we're conveniently ignoring for now. And I think Clemory just needs to also get up. I don't want her to stay completely isolated. Quiet. Did you hear something? I'm on it. Oh. Oh. Oh, and uh, that's a massive pack. Is this a one or two packs? So this should take care of the Overwatches. Dang, that is a heavy pack. Okay, so we got the car and the little car trick would be explode and kill two. Maybe even more than that. Last grenade used to get these guys injured. Okay, so Gunner, Trooper I think the Gunner is the more secure kill That's unfortunate low damage Not what I was expecting I do have an idea. Venom gets this guy down. Perception. That's a good PCS. Okay, we need damage and we need lots of it. Double barrel shotty to the face. Six, seven. No, it's only an 80% uh, chance, and I don't want that. Instead, we're taking it out, going the safe route, going for the safe route. And unless this is 100% hit, which it funnily enough is, I would have used the Psy abilities. Problem solved. Um, 
There's one more Berserker pack. And I just have to wonder how do we want to approach this. I think high ground still is the superior option. We have no more grenades, so that'll be a problem. We're doing fine so far, so I like uh, how this is going. And I think we do not necessarily need to engage right now. Let's just use our time to get cooldowns back, specifically run and gun and such. And put everybody into a more or less safe position. I think we're reloading and are taking good positions here. here How about this and I'm going. that and a little bit of uh, this problem, and that. That way, even if someone comes from the front, we're still in cover with everyone. Solid setup here. Okay, let's see where the enemy is coming from. Can't really hear anything. The last thing that we saw was sort of from here. Moves to here. We got our cooldowns back. Overwatch. They they must be near. Oh, okay, okay, they are. Yeah, I just just when I saw the movement marker, this guy here showed up. I skirted him. Wait, all of you took a shot and this guy still survived? What? Oh, he's down to one HP. Of course. Last Overwatch then misses. He comes in and starts to suppress him. Really? Okay. Time for some insanity. He's now panicked, which means that should yeah, very much break mind control. This may be painful. Soul fire to bypass the armor. More insanity. All right, missed that. More soul fire. Decent. These guys are tough. Not a problem. Since this is just one hit point, might as well finish him. We need to stun the Berserker, so unfortunately his action is already taken. Okay. 
down. And starting to injure the Berserker. That's a little crit, by the way. So there was one mutant downstairs and that mutant could come up and throw a grenade we of course don't want that to happen so what we're going to do is disable him with a flashbang and in the meantime is it a hundred percent yeah reload once and then stun Okay, this guy is just overwatching, fair enough. We want to maximize damage, which means BDM just continues to completely bolt into the Berserker. Nice little hits, by the way. We're taking away the overwatch down here. And hopefully this is going to be a kill. It is. Nice little crit. Moves into full cover. And let's drive the, this guy insane because that will crowd control him one more round. We got ourselves a living mutant. The mutiny. Not bad. The last engagement was clean. Really good crowd control, specifically if you do have two psionically active characters. So many promotions. Shooter gets a nice promotion, can. Uh, further continue hunk what am I going to do with you aggression looks so so good formidable isn't bad either Dedication isn't bad either, but we already have Lightning Reflex, so to a degree he could have used Electroshock and then skilled into Dedication. Um, formidable is good, I really like it as a skill, but Aggression isn't bad either. Can be another 30% crit chance, if you play it right. The other option is simply extra layer of protection. 50% less damage from explosives is also good. I think the damage is okay at the moment. Of course, you can always crit a little bit more. But it's not terrible. So let's go with formidable. Okay, very nice. Memory. Uh, biggest boons can inflict critical damage that's great I like chain shot but she's not shooting that often uh, I've not used sting grenades so far flashbang grenades have a 50% uh, chance to stun enemies for one turn Ooh. hmm Hmm. That isn't really... That is not bad. 
So uh, if we get, let's say, one or two flashbangs, she could actually stun a lot of them. It's good, it's a 50% chance. That extra damage isn't bad either. And she has one f uh, free flashbang, which we could give her later. That plus sting grenades together might be a great option, a combination. Let's go st uh, sting grenades. I just want to test uh, if that is any good. Santa Mars has helped us a lot. I think we're going to go for Executioner. Fortify is good as well. But the 20 aim and 20 crit chance against targets, half or less of the original hit points, will help us to deal more crits overall. I really like Fortify. But we need damage. This is a damaging class. Okay, and we got a lot of new corpses. Uh, let me uh, have a short break. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, back. So <clears throat> I did a bit. I did a bit of uh, um, double checking. Let's look at our haven management, and some of you know that very well. Some of you might not have seen it. So this is our home region, and the liberation uh, chain here is one two then number three is when the network tower appears and number four is kind of that little uh, fist right next to the network tower which tells you you're almost uh, done liberating the area cool so far so good uh, we got new india and we got new australia australia just recently dropped advent strings to six the problem is both of them have vigilance 11 and uh, the en enemy strengths will always uh, gravitate towards uh, the vigilance. The higher the enemy strengths, the more enemies are there, and seven is already pushing it. The big problem that I'm seeing with both of these regions is they haven't started the liberation uh, chain yet, and we wanted, uh, of course, to liberate them, which is why I put them now completely onto Intel um, to actually find the liberation missions. The liberation missions are very difficult to find, but rotate uh, in the background the entire time, so even if you miss them, uh, they can always uh, be uh, be found. I just need kind of a realistic uh, starter for that. So we're going to like squeeze both of these out as much as possible. Also, I invested some intel in um, speeding up uh, the actual liberation of our main region. And we now need to find the right uh, time for it. So as you can see, we're at 111%. We don't have any other mission uh, going in that uh, region. So now is actually a good time to to start going for it. Uh, this will also mean uh, 38 minus 11, so 27% chance of enemies taking shots back at us. We could uh, do a little bit more, like up to 125%, then the enemy count would uh, reduce. At the moment, we're uh, rocking a whooping 50 enemies, but that also means we have 50 bodies uh, that we could uh, that we could find. The reason why I want uh, the team back is <clears throat> not only to uh, start training them further, <clears throat> but also because um, the liberated area will give us a lot of advantages once we're there. So. Let's see what we are going to train with our operatives. So these two found their footing. And as you can now see, it'll take a few days for them to continue training, which is okay. They got, uh, they both are going for fortress, which is a fantastic first skill. Uh, to begin with, just so that, uh, to make them completely immune together with the mind shield, that would be great. So the two psychers here, down here, fortress training, they are becoming archelites soon as well. And with that, they'll get more hit points and so on. So they uh, climb the corporate ladder, so to speak. 
these two can train they are ready to uh, to train as well but that'll happen once they're back from uh, from their respective missions i suppose so magnetic weapons still take a couple of days we can't upgrade uh, that yet we're we're training on all cylinders so that's fine my only question now is do we want to continue yeah maybe we're just getting a couple more percentage points with the gray knights at the moment nothing is pressing what i would want to do is i want to start um, scanning at the haven uh, what I actually will do is take one of these guys off. It's four days to the training. Not perfect, but okay. And we're putting you in charge of this here. That'll add additional intel. We're also going to fly over and we're going to then scan as well which will add virtual four um, resistance operatives so we should earn a lot of intel and then hopefully we'll get all of the missions Fantastic. Proving grounds already. The question is, what are we going to do? Frost Brom is fantastic. Mechanized Warfare is good to get our sparks going. Hasmas vests would be fine. Alloy plating isn't bad either. Scopes isn't bad. So I think the most important one at the moment, Hunter's Axe is really good. Shadow Keeper is decent, uh, good aim bonus. Frost Bomb is good. I think we're going to start with Mechanized Warfare. I'll let the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Could have built the Proving Ground there. I wasn't aware that the Proving Ground now has the option for two engineers. Ah, it's not that bad having that adjacent here well you learn um, as you play the game clearing alien debris down here will get, get us finally to the infirmary and we need definitely more scientists because we have scientists here we need that on the infirmary we'll need one and um, I need them as Haven advisors. So, yeah, wanting the idea now, let's talk shortly about the strategy layer because uh, I lost the train of thought uh, here. So, essentially, this uh, region here will soon be um, uh, will soon be liberated. We got a um, big fat strength six region here, and we got a big fat uh, strength six region here. In the meantime, strengths two, strengths one, these here are easy peasy regions for recruitment at the moment and later for running additional missions. I want to start liberating the other regions as well, naturally, because maybe this is going to be an attempt to liberate as many as we uh, can, because it's fun. And uh, in the meantime, we got the Grey Knights here at uh, the actual first liberation. So. I'm wondering if we should just do that. Uh, it'll have a couple of knock-on effects because uh, this region here is currently strength 9. Uh, they will lose a couple of troops and then the rest is going to be deployed evenly. So assume uh, that each of the other region goes up by 1 to 2. Um, not, not that much, by, by 1. Uh, so that means we're having higher strengths in the other regions as well. And specifically the high vigilance ones um, are going to be yeah, tough a tough nut to crack so the longer that I think about it the more clear it becomes I want to do this mission but that'll happen in the next episode because it's a big mission 
115% is okay. That's still a 20% chance for them to take an action when they are being discovered. But that's one in a five, so it's okay. All right, that's the end of today's episode. Thanks a lot and see you later. Bye-bye.